Hey guys, and welcome to another episode of Grimes Finds. It is Monday, September 9th, and I know that because it is Kennedy's birthday. She just turned 14 today, but we had her party this weekend. Uh, but anyway, so why is it a special episode? Well, because every episode is special, I feel like. Uh, but today, what? This is also um, the seven year anniversary of when we met each other. Oh, it is the night. It is the, the night. The very first time? The very first time. Was that at the front door of the church? Front, front doors of the church. Oh, so this is the day that we actually, we met on Facebook, we went to the same church, but this is actually, I guess, the first day seven years ago. Seven years ago. We met seven years ago, we met for the very first time. So how freaking, uh, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Cool. What's the word I'm looking for? No. no. I mean, how like how? Well, I guess how cool is it that we're doing this video? So we woke up. We what we did at Grimesfine is we shifted the work week to Tuesday to Saturday because uh, we are going to get you up another great auction, uh, Grimesfine dollar sale, and then we've got to get Pirates auction number two up. We'll have the details out for that later, so just be patient with us. But until then, today, what do we decide to do? We are going to do a thrifting challenge. Yeah, not well, kind of a challenge. Kind of. Hey, not this, against each other. Yeah, we're gonna just, uh, we're gonna make this educational. So here's what we're doing. We got 200 bucks, $200 bills. We're gonna work together today, um, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna go out and we're gonna spend all $200 at the thrift store. We're gonna bring you along for the journey. And why one is because this is how I started in this industry. I started thrifting when I was very young. One, uh, when I was young 20s, uh, I was thrifting for clothes, but then you know my mom taught me how to thrift for antiques and collectibles and stuff, so it's just stuck with me. So anyway, uh, we kinda have the day off, Right, yeah, right. What's yeah, a day right. off? <laughs> uh, but anyway, so here we go. Uh, we are heading to Carrollton, Texas. We're going to go to a bunch of my favorite um, thrift stores. Oh, I didn't address. So we're going to go to thrift stores, and we're going to be there in a minute, but I guess I didn't address one you thing. You didn't address one thing. Uh, this is also a special episode because this, this is the very first video I made after this dude at this place butchered my beard. So anyway, hey, I'm not going to name the company because I have said very good things about them. And look, I think everybody's entitled to a mistake, even a company. And so I'm not going to knock them, but I'm serious. My beard, I could grab like this and it would come out of the bottom of my hand. And he asked me, how do you want it? I said, I want to keep all the length. I need it cleaned up. And he, I keep calling myself, like, here's the deal. I get why he was probably confused because I first walk in, he probably thinks I'm a redneck, then I take off like, or pull up my sleeves, he sees all the tattoos, he's like, I don't know, maybe, you know, I don't know, maybe he just got out of prison. So here's the deal, I think he got confused in between, and he started boxing me up uh, like the homies, and uh, anyway, so this is what came out, but anyway, I'm gonna grow back out. Yeah. Anyway, hey, we'll be at Goodwill off Beltline? No, Midway. Midway. Yeah, Goodwill Midway. We're going there first, and it's right by my old job at the corporate office of Motel 6. Uh, so we'll see you in a minute. All right, guys. So we are done with stop one right there. Uh, Goodwill. Uh, so here's the deal. So Goodwill, we're not going to be able to film a lot inside. I might do some time lapses or something like that. But Goodwill all plays uh, music inside. And so anyway, if we want to stay monetized on this video, we can't film in there. Uh, but anyway, so here's an update on Goodwill. We're going to make it fast. We spent... He said, it's not blowing, AC. Maybe. All right. So we got 11 bucks spent. Okay, we got three items. Mm -hmm. All right, three items. items. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to do a main unveil at the end of this video, so you got to stay tuned. But what I am going to promise you, I'm going to show you at least one item from each store. If you want to see everything we got, you got to wait till the end. So here, real quick, I'm really confused because we got three really cool items. We're only going to pick one, and mm -hmm. I'm going to let you pick it. Just a chip. I'm going to go Don't with, go. Which one? With the Okay, that's charm. cool. All right. So this is the very first item that we got. We paid 11 bucks for three. Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna run all the, the items we find today, we're gonna run them in one sale so that you can follow the $200 spent and we'll see how much profit we make because if we can do it, you can do it. Oh, check this out, okay. So this is probably my favorite item. We found another really cool yeah, item. Yeah, uh, really cool. No, it's not a typical thrift store find, but okay, so let's show them the bottom. The bottom? Okay, uh, so anyway, 1994. Stay still. Oh. Uh, anyway. Uh, so anyway, uh, Katie's so much better at this. So look, check it out. Okay, there's uh, there is a little chigger bite on the top, but if the if the lid is on, you can't, you can't tell. Okay. Uh, but we will disclose that in the uh, in the descriptions when we run the stuff on uh, auction. So anyway, uh, we paid 
Right, dang it. I think you might oh, there it do is. the turnaround. Yeah, maybe. Okay, so there's $4.99. We spent five bucks on this. We're gonna see what we get. And so anyway, that was over half of our bill. I did round up at Goodwill. You can round up to donate to uh, for good causes. So I always round up. Uh, so $11, we actually spent like 10 bucks something. Uh, but anyway, so we're off to the next one. We'll see you in a minute. All right, guys, so we are at stop number three, stop two. We actually win. It was a Goodwill, and I'll tell you what, man. I've said it before, just kind of disappointed with Goodwill because it's no longer a thrift store. It's like they're trying to go full out, like, triple retail and stuff. So, anyway, we uh, still here with my dear wife all day, every day, and we are here at Salvation Army. Okay. Uh, Salvation Army in Farmer's Branch. Uh, my kids used to go to school out here, and I actually love this area. Uh, there's a lot of good stuff. I've actually, uh, one time I came into this one, uh, I found, remember all the sterling silver napkin mm -hmm. rings? Uh, they were figural sterling silver, silver uh, napkin rings, and they were freaking heavy, but they were expensive, and I found like 20 of them up here, and they were charging like a buck 99 a piece. Uh, but anyway, so we are going to show you one item. We actually spent... $27. $27, that's a lot for a freaking uh, thrift store. There was a lot of $2.99, $3.99 items we got. We probably got like what, maybe six, seven items? Uh, yeah, I think so. Okay, so dude, I keep looking at my beard. I'm like, man, that dude made me look like a freaking uh, leprechaun. Almost. It almost looks like a leprechaun. Yeah, I don't even know. You know, poor guy. I think he was new. Uh, anyway, so here's what we're going to show you for this one. We did get a bunch of items. Remember on the recap, stay tuned till the end of this video because we're going to show you everything that we got today. Uh, so this was actually pretty cool. It's a long sleeve. Uh, normally, I like to get my shirts from uh, uh, about 99 cents because I know lots of great stores. I can get great t-shirts for 99. Uh, but this one was 3.99. But hey, it's an 84 freaking Bush and Reagan long sleeve t-shirt. That's yeah, not, cool. and I don't think people are knocking those off. People aren't going around reproducing those. Yeah. Uh, so anyway, it, it uh, anyway, so we are heading over to actually one of my favorite thrift stores here in Farmers Branch. It's right across the way, and we're gonna actually try to get some footage in that store just so you can kind of see. But anyway, we'll see you at the next stop. All right, guys, so we are back, and we're, like, striking out all over the place. This was just, like, probably the worst day I've ever had thrifting. I mean, we've gone through, like, all the racks of T-shirts. Are you texting and driving? No. I was checking my email. Same thing, though. <laughs> all right, never mind. Uh, all right. Whoa, 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 whoa. whoa. Anyway, hey, uh, it is bright in Texas. It is 530, or is it 430? It is 5.30. Okay, it is 5.30, y'all. The last three or four places have just been honestly horrible. Like, it's been empty. I don't know if there's, like, some... Uh, shortage. <laughs> yeah, some, like, shortage of junk or donations or something. But anyway, so we did go into there. We spent... Well, so we have two receipts. This one is for... Oh, hold on. Is, that the five? Uh, 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 uh. is this yours or mine? 5.93? Yeah. That's, that was mine. Oh, never mind. No, that was from... This is mine. Oh, no, this is yours. That's from the previous store. Was it? Mm -hmm. Fun enough? All right, so what what we get? Oh, we got two t-shirts. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so, okay, so we did get two t-shirts. I didn't put in a clip because I was like, man, that's just too many t-shirts. And guess what we just bought? More t-shirts. Uh, anyway, we have two receipts. We spent five bucks, uh, for like five ninety on two other shirts. We did just come out of here, and I'll just show you. Let's see, what shirt should we show them? Because we got to show them everything at home, right? Eh, yeah, it's all right. Yeah, some cool shirts, like a buck ninety-nine. Do you know where you're going, babe? Yes. We're gonna go to the one in Plano. Okay, I did get this. I'll show you this. So this is not like a real collectible shirt, but I got it for one ninety-nine. And I'll show you what it says. So if y'all saw my last video, it kind of had the Walking Dead uh, theme. I don't know if you can read that. Oh yeah, you can. Look, look, look at that. Grimes Dixon, twenty-six. So y'all know uh, Dixon, uh, that's the guy that, uh, oh, what's his name? Daryl. Plays Daryl, and he is in the Boondock Saints, one of my favorite movies of all time. If you haven't seen it, you gotta go check it out. Watch part one before you watch part two. Part two is okay. Uh, anyway, so I got this shirt. I got it 
it's I mean buck 99 it's got my name on it so anyway hey uh, we did get a bunch of other t-shirts and we are heading to one last stop in Plano right by house and hopefully uh, they're gonna have like at least like 150 bucks worth of stuff for us to buy hopefully. <laughs> right we definitely have not spent our budget we have not I think we've spent about a hundred and fifty dollars so let's go see what kind of uh, damage we can uh, uh, so do we, we haven't what did I say that we did? That we have. Uh, they're used to me messing things I know. up. <laughs> turtly. So, turtly. Hey, I turtly messed that up. So anyway, hey, we are heading to Plano and we're going to go to two shops because they're right by each other and we'll see if we can spend 150 bucks. See you at the next unit. I mean, store. Hey guys, we are back and we just got out of another thrift store. Oh, you might be able to see it back there. No, can't. The thrift store. Well, freaking uh, sun. So shiny here in Texas, I can't get it right. Oh, I'm joking. That's going to make somebody sick. Anyway, so we are leaving here. Guys, it is still thin as crap. I don't know. Today's just a bad day. Uh, I haven't been out thrifting all day like this in a while. So I figure uh, just, you know, what it is, it's probably the weekend. The stores just got like freaking pillaged. And so uh, they just haven't restocked yet. So anyway, uh, I think you can see. Oh, is it upside down? No. So here, I'm just going to tell you. 2816. Might be able to see it. But anyway, that's what we spent. 2816. Look, look at all the stuff back here. I'm not going to lie. It's been t shirt galore. That store actually had a lot of t shirts. Got Beatles. Uh, what else we get? Ninja Turtles. Some other cool stuff. Uh, yeah, some vintage uh, sports stuff. And we did get this. So we have bought two uh, board games today. Kind of show you this. And my pretty wife. Um, don't be putting weird crap, dudes. Oh, yeah, right in there. Hey, they were closing last time, I think, but we'll check it out. But anyway, so this thing is, we paid like $4.94 for it, and, you know, they sell for $20 to $30 bucks sealed. Uh, it's a 20th anniversary uh, trivia pursuit, but anyway, hey, it's sealed in the box, so I know that we can at least double our money on that. We weren't expecting to make huge profits, but we just kind of wanted to show you what you can do in one day uh, going around thrift store. So anyway, uh, we are here at the Family Thrift. Man, they're freaking thin. All these thrift stores are going out of business. There was one right here too. Thrift oh, thrift shop. shop. The plaid tag. Are they close? Um, What's it say? Sorry, we are closed. Yeah, I think that one might be closed permanently. I saw an ad on Craigslist. Uh, anyway, so we are gonna run into the Family Thrift Center. This will be our last stop of the day because we just need to get home. We're gonna do a recap and show you all the cool stuff we got and tell you how much we spent. We'll be right back. Alright guys, so we are back home here in Plano, and let me tell you something. Don't ever go thrifting on Monday. It's been so long since I've just took a day, gone out thrifting, but like I said, we had to shift our schedule Tuesday to Sunday uh, for the auction house. So anyway, we needed to come up with something. We're going to be back to unboxing videos. We're going to have a ton of unboxing videos coming up. Uh, just stay tuned for tomorrow. We'll have a big unboxing. So anyway, here we are. We didn't spend the 150 No, we didn't even spend 200 we didn't even spend 100. We didn't even spend 100, guys. That's how here bad it was. Y so here, let's just show them what we got for about, I'm gonna say 85 bucks is about what we spent. So anyway, uh, this is yours. Okay, so this wasn't part of what we got. Uh, <laughs> Gina decided she used her own money, but she got her some shoes and a t-shirt. Uh, okay. So anyway, let's just go through here real quick uh, and let's see what we got for 85 bucks today. Okay. Hey, so here, t-shirts are always, uh, they're always a winner. They're always a winner. So I paid a buck 91 for that. Uh, and this is a Grimes Dixon 2016 uh, Walking Dead shirt. I had to get it. It said Grimes on it. That's just cool. And Dixon, uh, Daryl is like my favorite character because, again, he's in the Boondock Saints. Uh, so anyway, one t-shirt. So y'all tell me, leave your comments below. When we get to here, say, hey, I think you made your money back. We'll go with 85 bucks. That's what we'll go with. That's what we spent. Uh, so there was a ton of these in the, uh, a ton of these. And I get where they're coming from. I don't remember the name of this movie with Michael Douglas. Remember, he like goes off on a rampage. You don't remember that? I don't remember. Like on the, he had the but... gun in the briefcase and stuff. But anyway, so this is him, and it says uh, no more Spider-Man movies. <laughs> and I totally get <laughs> that because I remember at one point I was like, "Good lord, they got to give up on this." Uh, anyway, so we got two T-shirts. Remember, comment below when you think we've hit that eighty-five bucks back. Uh, so this one is just kind of a cool little T191. says, I'm allergic to Mondays. Uh, geez, Louise. I, that last thrift store I went, it was horrible. They literally only had clothes, and every rack was mixed kids, women's clothes. There was no, so I think they're shutting down. Uh, anyway. No uh, rhyme or Oh, reason. Gina got this one, $1.91. It's a Shiner 
Beers, uh, Gasp, whatever that was, 2018. Oh, I thought that, I put that one back. You did, huh? You got yeah, it. I bought it. All right, All so right. we got four t-shirts so far. Look at this. This it was t-shirt day. Hey, More I'll tell you what, if you ever go to thrift stores and they don't have the other kind of stuff you're looking for, I promise you, you can always make money on t-shirts. Thrift store, half price sale. Well, hey, let's give them a shout out. Yeah. Seven, over 75% off entire store, half marked price, blah, blah, blah. Uh, which one? Oh, oh, it starts tomorrow. Who would have been what? tomorrow? Oh, man, we'll have to go back tomorrow. <laughs> All right, so check this out. I thought this was kind of cool. Uh, it says, uh, this is a Beatles t-shirt. A is for Apple Records. Uh, and then down here it says Z is for Zapple Records, the Beatles. So that's kind of cool. Apple Records logo. Yeah, of course, it's a newer one. That's cool too. I haven't seen that before. Mm -hmm. Uh, this was kind of fun. Remember, comment below when you think we've gotten to our 85 bucks. We're going to run all of these in our uh, dollar grind find sale, so just get ready for that coming. We're going to have another one this week. We have another one closing tonight, but by the time you see this video, it'll already be closing. Uh, so anyway, this says the uh, it's The Blob. I don't know if y'all remember the movie The Blob. I don't know if this was uh, for that, but I'm assuming that's what it was. It's got an older tag on it, uh, but that's kind of cool if y'all remember The Blob. When did that come out? Like the 50s? 60s, 60s, it's I think old. 60s. It's old. So anyway, let's keep going. Okay, so this was kind of cool. It's two bucks. Uh, it's a U2, uh, U2 360 tour uh, from 2009. So this is 10 years old. Okay, it's got Bono on the front. So that's a cool two dollar t-shirt. Cool. Uh, what else we got here? I picked this one. It was kind of nostalgic, the but flash. it's a buck fifty nine. It's kind of got that old school flash on it. So that's cool tee bigger I wear it. Gina picked this one. It's probably the most expensive t-shirt we bought. Normally I will not spend $4. more than three dollars on a t-shirt uh, but this was kind of cool. It's really clean. It's really a thick shirt. It actually feels new uh, but look at that. It's got all of the uh, uh, Nickelodeon, oh, Nickelodeon characters. Yeah. Ren and Stimpy, uh, Rugrats. Uh, that was the dinosaur from Rugrats. Oh uh, what was his name? The guy with the football shaped head? Oh, Rocco's Modern Life. Yeah, Rocco's Modern Life. So, anyway. Hey Be Arnold. Hey okay. Arnold, that's hey right. Hey Arnold. So, that's cool, but look at this big stack of tees. Yeah. Doing good so far. So far, I think. Uh, this one was kind of cool. I got this for two bucks. Uh, this is supposed to look like this way. It's a newer tee. It's printed on the shirt, but it feels like a new shirt. And it's supposed to look crackled like that. Uh, so anyway, two bucks on that. Ninja Turtles Nostalgic. T-shirts are coming back, guys. This is the new deal. Uh, I bought this for a couple reasons. One, vintage sports shirts do really well. That's coming back. If you haven't watched our Slobby Robbie video, the guy from Netflix, uh, season two is coming out for him soon, but we learned a lot of, from him. Uh, but this is a specific one. This is uh, the 2000, or 2000. <laughs> 2000. That's totally, I totally messed totally. up. Totally. Okay, so it's a Bears from 2014 Fiesta Bowl t-shirt. So that's a very specific to a specific event in college and NFL that's hot. So anyway, I think this t-shirt will probably go for 15, 20 bucks. That's what I think. Anyway, all right, should we keep going? Yep. All right, let's do some size t-shirts. I think okay. we might have done most of our t-shirts already. Did we? Oh, well then let's finish this one. All right, all right so I did get this one, uh, $1.99, I paid for it. It's a Ghostbusters shirt from 2009 also, uh, 10 years old. It did have a tag. At first I got excited because I saw the uh, 1984 right there. But if you have two dates on it, you always go with the later one, obviously, right? They weren't predicting the future, were they? They were not. I had somebody ask me, which one is it? I'm pretty sure. All right, so let's, hold on. let's look at this first. So we got this at... Salvation, Salvation Army. Salvation Army. Okay. So we paid three ninety nine for this. Okay, it's still sealed in here, and it's called the Unforgettable Footballs. Limited edition. Limited edition collector series. So we looked these up on eBay sold listings, and about twenty to thirty bucks is what you can get them for. This one's still sealed in the package, four bucks. I figure we'll at least quadruple our money. Again, we weren't going out to get rich today. We're just going out to show you how we started in this business, and this is how I did it. <clears throat> Okay. Uh, I don't even remember what this is. Do you? I know what it is. Oh, yeah. I do remember what this is. Okay, so we got bookends, right? I paid $3.99 a piece for these. Okay. Hey, so y'all watch our next uh, Dollars Grime Spine sale, and all of this stuff's going to be in there. And so you now will be able to go back and refer and see what we paid for things and see what we got out of them. Uh, and I think it'll help you uh, if you're a new reseller. 
Uh, so anyway, look, these are Solid Brass Collection Leonard. Solid Brass Collection. Uh, but uh, brass didn't used to be so hot. Uh, but for some reason, brass is coming back. It really is. And these are duck bookends. Anything duck hunting wise is good. Uh, mm -hmm. I'm hoping to get at least, you know, 20 bucks for this. But I haven't looked up that specific brand either. So you already saw this in the car. This is probably my favorite piece of the day. It's nostalgic. What did we say it was 1994? Yeah, 94. 1994, Hanna-Barbera. That is killer. So mm -hmm. I love that piece. Yeah. And what did we pay for that? Four ninety nine. Four dollars and ninety nine cents. This is kind of like an unboxing. It is kind of like it. Okay. Uh, that's so cool. I don't even. Man, I wish we would have went. Okay, so this was uh, Ladro. Mhm. Mm Ladro. Uh, yeah, it's a Ladro col uh, Collector Society kind of like uh, just a little display. But you can see right here it says Ladro Collection. It's got signatures here. Um, and I mean, obviously we're going to clean this up. This stuff looks like it comes off, uh, but you can see the Ladro stamp right here. Uh, that says 1985 made in Spain. We paid $2 and 99 cents for that. I think once that's cleared up, uh, this obviously probably only went to people who had some kind of, were in the collector society, right? Mm -hmm. There's probably some kind of thing where one one you know they got something automatically shipped when one came out they'd pay for it uh i know there's other things like this so two nine nine that's pretty good so if you think that we're right here if you think we're at 85 dollars yet comment below i think you're there right because we're going to premiere this yeah we're going to premiere this after the auction maybe nine o'clock or we could do it before we'll see time. we'll see maybe after. a lot of little videos uh anyway so let's keep going okay so um not a high dollar item, but it's sealed, right? It's sealed. It's got a lot of things going for it. It's sealed. It's Disney. It's an 80 year uh, limited thing, so it's going to be a limited edition, right? Uh, so that's just that's like a, a trifecta almost. So it's, it's it's a specific celebration of something. It's sealed and it's Disney. Look, there's some dust on here, but we'll, we're going to wipe all this down. But hey, there's a sealed Disney thing, and we paid three ninety nine for it because I figure I'm probably going to get $15, 20 bucks for this in auction so there's that uh oh this was kind of cool okay so uh we did find we just showed you this so i'm not going to show you this again probably but we did get the trivial pursuit 20th anniversary so again it's a sealed product it's a limited edition product and that's it but that's great right yeah that's okay. very great and so here, we found another sealed game. There's a little tear right there, but this is, after, this is probably factory sealed, I'm guessing. Uh, I'm guessing people aren't going around resealing uh, these. Uh, but hey, who wants to be a millionaire? I think this was probably an earlier edition. It's ABC, copyright 2000. So this game is almost 20 years old, guys. 20 years old. Okay, and it's still sealed. And I remember when this game came out. Actually, this I think this came out when I was in high. No, it did come out when I was in high school. So anyway, hey, how to be a millionaire, or who wants to, who be, wants a to be a millionaire? Sealed. So we got a couple sealed games. All right. So like, uh, I guess we did better than I thought. Maybe. Man, it was just brutal today, yeah. guys. The shops were bad. Okay, so we got this for two bucks. It looks like. Just a little millennial falcon falcon shirt. Uh, again, it's printed, so you can tell it's newer, okay? But it's still a Star Wars sh shirt. Mm -hmm. It's nice. Wrinkles will come out of that, right? Oh, yeah, definitely. Let's see what we got in here. Okay, so I had to ask Gina who this was, right? Because anytime you can get any kind of concert t-shirt or tour shirt uh, for one or two bucks, I say go ahead and get it, man. That's, I mean, that's, you just got to find that fan for this stuff. But anyway, let's take a guess. Who can tell me who this is before I flip the shirt around and it's not Bonnie Raitt, because that's who I thought it was, the country <laughs> singer. <laughs> Doesn't it look like her? I don't even know what Bonnie Raitt Bonnie looks Raitt, like. Bonnie Raitt, red hair, country singer. Uh, let's give them something to talk about. Isn't that her? I think so. Yeah, I think it's her. Uh, anyway, so it is a official tour shirt, 2016, so I knew she was newer. Uh, but this is Megan... Trainer, and I guess she's the one that sings the All About the Bass song. Is all that what About you told the me? Bass. So she is all about that bass. But anyway, we paid... I paid $2.99 for it. $3 concert shirt. 
Uh, I guess she's still relevant. I mean, she was just torn in 2016. She might have been a one-hit wonder. I don't know. Uh, anyway. Ooh. Oh, we got one more t-shirt. Mm -hmm. Oh, this one was kind of fun. This, who's this remind you of? Who's it remind me of? Yeah, let's do a plug. Oh. Seriously. Okay. You oh. don't, no, you don't say anything now. Who's this remind you of? Which I know one now. Of my YouTube friends does this remind you of? I know now. <laughs> Put pirate. It in the, oh, pirate. Yeah, put it in there. So, normally I wouldn't buy this, but it is. It's a thicker shirt. I really don't know what Scruffy Murphy's... Oh, wait. Scruffy Murphy's Waco, Texas. Oh, I know what Scruffy you Murphy's You should is. know that. You graduated yeah. from Baylor. I didn't look at the back. So, it says since 1993. So, yeah, what was Scruffy this, a restaurant? Mur Scruffy Murphy's is a bar in Waco. Ah, okay. Hey, so all you Baylor Waco people. Yeah, come on, Baylor. Uh, Scruffy... Scruffy's is, is magic. magic. So that's pretty cool. I don't know what's going on with that Irish guy choking the crap out of a <laughs> unicorn and then he crapped himself a rainbow. <laughs> uh, but anyway, hey, we paid three bucks for that. I did go a dollar premium on this because it reminded me of Pirate and well, that's just a good thing. Uh, so anyway, that's what we got right there. Uh, Gina picked this up. Yeah. We'll see, y'all. Hey, look. I don't know. It was a slow day. It was, it was thin picking, y'all. Mm -hmm. Don't make fun of my wife. It was thin picking. She brought this up to me. I was like, man, we got to spend some money, but it's just a shoe shining thing. It is. It's not even an old one. You can tell the hardware on it's newer. Uh, it's just pine. Um, it's got a brand on it, Rico, made in USA for of Chicago, blah, blah, blah. Okay, hey, we're going to see if we made money on this. So anyway, uh, we got one more item so far. Comment right now. Tell me. Do you think we did good or not? 85 bucks spent. We meant to go out for 200, but again, Monday is a bad day because the stores obviously got pillaged over the weekend and they hadn't had time to restock. So here's our last item. I don't know what this will go for, but we found this at Goodwill. It was actually where we found the cookie jar. Yeah. So we found two cool items. So I do like this. Uh, I'll be real honest. Uh, I didn't know who this was at first. I didn't see that, but I saw this. Right, and a lot of times on old vinyl, uh, it's just it's it's just you know the uh, the graphics, you know. And I just looked at that and I was like, man, that is freaking a killer, freaking album. So uh, hey, if my buddy uh, Brian's on here, Brian Conrad, uh, he's a DJ. This boy knows. Um. Coonrod. Coonrod. I always did. Conrad. <laughs> Remember, my favorite comment is this. He's like, that's the most interesting uh, conversation I've heard about my last name. Yes. Uh, but anyway, check that out. Watch. Let's see who these people are. Oh, that's Lucille Ball. Oh, cool. It is. Marilyn Monroe. Uh, Marilyn Monroe. Where's Marilyn Monroe? Right there. That's not Marilyn Monroe, yes, is it? Oh, yeah, it is. You know who that is? Who? That looks like Joe DiMaggio. Didn't uh, they date? They did. I thought they were married. Did they? Uh, I thought he had an affair on his wife. Uh, but this is weird. Do you recognize anybody else? Uh, not not off the top of my head. Hey, if y'all recognize anybody, put it down in the comments right now. This is pretty cool. I didn't realize that was... Oh, that's Desi, too. Uh-huh. That's kind of cool. Oh, let's look on the back. Uh, anybody else? These are weird. Anyway, that's kind of neat. So, anyway, uh, Rolling Stones record. We got this for $1.99. Uh, let's see. The record is in here. Uh, here's your number. You can look that number up right here. You got that? Yep. Okay. Uh, it doesn't look to have any real deep scratches on it. Uh, there's some nicks on this that I don't know. Uh, we'll take up close-up pictures, but hey. Uh, anyway, there you go. I was trying to find the year on this. 1978. Promotion code 39108. The Rolling Stones. Some girls. Anyway, guys, there you have it. That's the video for today. We'll be back to unboxing. Tomorrow we have 12,000 square feet full of boxes we've got to go through, and we're going to film a ton for you guys. We're going to do a live this week. We've got some big news coming at the end of this week, and if you haven't heard, we are giving away a car uh, to a single parent. It may be a woman. It may be a dad. I don't know yet. We're going to let you decide that, so make sure Right now, until we get the rules and stuff together and we get the car purchased, which we plan on doing this week, make sure to go to our community board and there's a picture up saying we're giving away a card uh, and there's instructions in there on one of the comments. And if you know someone who's deserving, and guys, here it is, they cannot have a running vehicle right now. This is for someone, uh, here's the deal, I know what it's like growing up and I remember there's a few times where 
uh, we didn't have a vehicle. And um, I even remember being younger and just have, being through hard times and not having a vehicle. Uh, and can you imagine having kids? So anyway, this is very dear to my heart. This isn't just something I said, hey, let's do this just for no reason. Um, I always promised myself that if more came in, I would do good with that. And people always ask me, if you win a lottery, what, do, you, do you remember this answer? If I won a lottery, what would I do? What would be one of the things I did? I say a million things. You, you do. You say a lot of things. I'd open a homeless shelter. That's the oh, first that's thing I said right. I'd do. I, if I won the lottery, I would buy a big old hotel and I would transform it into a homeless shelter uh, to help people uh, just get back on their feet. Uh, there's some people on the streets that I know it's real easy, right, guys, to say, oh, they can go get a job. Because they can sometimes. They're physically able. But think about it. you got to have a driver's license. You have to have a Social Security card to, to get a job. Think about how difficult those places make it for people like us to get that stuff. Could you imagine if you didn't have a car, you didn't have any money, you didn't have any resources, you didn't have proof of residence, you didn't have all these things. And a lot of this, I've spent decades with the homeless. This is a lot of the problem. It's simple things like that. So let's do this. We're gonna, we've already, uh, I've already got the car covered. I know how we're getting the car. We're gonna look for the car. I've already started searching, we're gonna get it. So go to that comment, read the instructions, send a submission to someone else you know. You can send a submission for yourself. Here's the deal. If I find out you're lying, it ain't gonna be a good thing because you're just stealing from someone else. So don't be that person. Be honest, uh, just, just be honest. Uh, so anyway. If you're if you try to take advantage, you're just you're stealing from someone else. And I want to help someone. I want AC, and I want kids in a car. I want kids going to school. I don't want a mom or a dad having to figure out how they're going to get to work, how they're going to get the kids to school, not having to depend on anyone. Let's help someone out. So start sending those submissions and start sharing this page. Like, subscribe, all our videos, and we'll see you at the next unit.